Hi, this is Kevin from The Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to talk about one of the questions that I get asked all the time, but especially at this time of year, which calculator should I buy for maths at school? So the short answer is that for year 7 and 8, uh, perhaps for year 9, I'd recommend uh, this. This is the uh, FX85 calculator, which is really just a slightly more basic version of the uh, FX991 calculator, which is the one that I'd recommend for uh, GCSE and for A-level. And if you're doing A-level further maths, you might consider something like this, a graphical calculator. Uh, this is the CG50 by Casio. Um, but again, graphical calculator is not uh, absolutely essential at, at any level for school. Um, so that's that for uh, the quick recommendation, and I'll go into a bit more detail about each of them now. So here's the uh, FX85. This is the calculator that I mostly recommend for year seven and eight, perhaps year nine. Doesn't quite have everything in it that I think you'd want for uh, GCSE maths, but it's a great entry level calculator for year se seven and eight because the menus are a little bit simpler than in the uh, model for, G for, for GCSE and A level. So no harm in getting the GCSE and A level one right away, but this one's a little bit cheaper. Again, students often lose their calculators at some point between uh, year seven and GCSE, so it may not, may, may be that it's worth just getting the cheaper one for now. Um, and, but it is a lot better than just like a, a basic non-scientific calculator. I get some students sometimes who turn up to lessons with just a, a pocket calculator that has almost no mathematical functions on it. And you really want to avoid those. You do need something like this for, for school maths. It has modes where you can, you know, type in uh, you know, type in fractions nicely and easily and it'll do some simplification for you. Um, and the menu on this one is super simple. So, there's, so when you go into the menu, there's only four uh, options. We've got uh, number one there, calculate, number two, statistics, number three, table, and number four, a ratio. And really, if you're buying this calculator, you'll probably mostly just be using number one, calculate, and using it as a, as a calculator. Um, but in the statistics menu, you know, it will allow you to do some useful things for the earlier parts of school maths, like just working out the mean of a set of numbers. It's got some slightly more complicated things in there as well um, that you won't use at that level. Um, and it's also got um, the uh, table mode, uh, mode three here, which is kind of useful that allows you to type in um, a mathematical function and then it will uh, generate a, a table of values for that function I just typed in. Uh, x squared for this one and it generates a table of values so it can be useful for things like sequences and that sort of stuff as well and then number four that just allows you to simplify ratios um, but the main thing here is that it's got all of the uh, things that you'll need in the early parts of maths like sine cos and tan and um, and uh, say the nice fractions powers and roots and all that sort of stuff so it's really got everything you need to get going with school level maths and it's the easiest of all the calculators um, here to use as well this video is not sponsored by casio or anyone else by the way but really they're the only option for the main uh, school calculators uh, for the graphical calculators there's a bit more uh, out there but i've got a casio on here that i'm showing you for that as well so if you like a level up from the fx85 is this one the fx991 uh, ES and this is a calculator that really has everything you need for GCSE and for and for A-level maths and can see you perfectly well through all of school maths even if you're doing further maths A-level as well even but it does have some features that are a bit more than the FX85 that are that are really useful so for example it has as well as the table function that we talked about before and the statistics functions um, it has uh, an equation solver, right? And this one allows you to choose either simultaneous equations or polynomial equations, as you can see here. So for example, I could go to polynomial and choose a quadratic, um, and then I can type in the coefficients of the uh, of the quadratic equation. I've just typed in a sort of random quadratic here, and it gives me automatically the solution to that quad quadratic, uh, both of them here. And so, this calculator actually allows you to check a lot of the answers to questions that are asked in GCSE maths exams, right? So it's still, you still have to do the working in the exams, but this is a big uh, plus over the more basic uh, model that we've got there. Some of the buttons are configured slightly uh, differently as well, but it basically does the, uh, the, the, the same things 
um, for, for, the, for the basic functions. Um, it's also this one got things that you absolutely must have for uh, A level. So you could get away with this more basic calculator at GCSE if you didn't mind not having the equation solver, but at A level you really must have this one in the new A level exams because it has the statistical functions in here. So in, in, in number seven, um, we've got the tables for the normal distribution, the binomial distribution, um, and the Poisson distribution. And whereas in the past, you know, you're expected to look these up in physical booklets, uh, now you need a calculator that you can look those up uh, on as well. So that might not make any sense to you at the moment if you haven't started doing the course, but trust me, if you're doing A-level maths, you definitely, definitely need this calculator. And the final thing I want to talk about in this video is the graphical calculator. So here I've got the FX uh, CG50 from Casio, much, much more expensive than the other pocket calculators, I think, uh, from memory, the uh, this one's usually around fifteen pounds. This one maybe around twenty or twenty-five pounds. Uh, but this one is, you know, you're looking at more in the range of a hundred pounds or so uh, to buy that. And really not at all necessary for GCSE uh, or for A level single maths. And very rare to see students at that level uh, using these calculators. Really, although they are allowed in the exams, people often ask, "Can I take this calculator into the exam?" And I should say very clearly here, all of these calculators are allowed in all of the UK. Uh, exams, even the graphical calculator. Um, but although the graphical calculator has loads of extra functions, I mean, you can see just looking at the menu here, um, you know, uh, quite how many different things there are to do here. And there's, you know, a nice color screen. You can uh, you can import results directly onto the computer with the cable that they provide and all, and all that sort of stuff. Um, it does have a lot of power. Um, you know, in, in particular, you can you can plot graphs very easily on it, which is perhaps useful at A level. But there is also quite a high um, investment in learning how to use the calculator. Uh, so, uh, and you do have to clear the memory of the calculator before you take it into an exam. So, um, although you can store data in here, you're not allowed to um, sort of make notes and store them in here or anything like that for the exam. Um, so I suppose the main thing people say is, well, look, I could get a graphical calculator and I could, you know, I could plot a, be able to plot a graph in an exam. And I would say that is a, a very useful feature of this. You know, you can just type in Type in the equations of the of, of some graphs here, um, and then it will it will give you a plot of uh, of those graphs. Now, the way A level questions are phrased is such that almost always you do need to um, you know give some working and some explanation. So they don't give too many marks for just that sort of thing. Um, but there is perhaps a slight advantage there. But as I say, really uh, very rare for single maths A level students to have graphical calculators and take it into the exam. Uh, and for further mathematicians, it can be a good thing if you like the idea of learning how to use them, playing around with the functions. It means if you're in a classroom environment where you don't have, uh, you may perhaps if you're not allowed to take a laptop or a phone into your classroom, depending on your school's policies, you know, you can uh, have access to some more powerful mathematical tools whilst you're in your lessons. But individual schools will tell you if they, if they like that sort of thing or not. Some schools do suggest all further mathematicians biographical calculators. The schools I worked in both um, suggested that uh, it wasn't necessary. So up to you, very much up to you there. The point here is I think you don't have to spend a lot of money on calculators to do really well in A-level maths and further maths, but it can be a nice addition for someone who's really enthusiastic. But these days, you know, there's all sorts of online tools like Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha and Desmos, and you can get a lot of the functionality of a graphical calculator on your mobile phone. Uh, these days as well, so very much uh, an addition rather than something that's essential. So I hope that's useful in getting ready to go back to school. Uh, just to summarise, my quick recommendations are this calculator here, the FX85 GTX for Year 7, 8, perhaps Year 9, the uh, 991EX here for uh, GCSE and for A-level maths, absolutely essential for A-level and very much recommended for GCSE, and perhaps a graphical calculator if you're doing A-level further maths and you're very enthusiastic, but not essential at all. I'll put links to all of these products uh, below if you want to buy them through those links. That helps me out and supports the channel a lot, so I really appreciate that. Let me know if you've got any other questions below. And there's also a blog on my website that goes through uh, the, the logic here as well that I'll link below and also has links as well to all of these products. So hope you have a, a good start to the term and that you'll be well prepared with the right calculator that you need for maths. So I actually realized I have this uh, FX85 
uh, GTX calculator right here um, so maybe I can make this an uh, unboxing video as well if you like that sort of thing. Okay so let's take the FX85 GDX uh, out of its case here. Um, these things are only always kind of a trick to get into sometimes, it's quite easy. So there we go, it comes with some instruction manuals that I guess people never, lead, no, never read but um, actually can be kind of uh, useful to really understand all the menus and the different things that the calculator can do. And then you've got the nice uh, calculator itself here and um, you just want to rip off the protective uh, protective casing and uh, and layers here and then the calculator itself uh, is just this part and uh, comes with a nice uh, case to store it in as well.